Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a Korean comedy sci-fi film called I Am. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the opening scene, a young university student, Yoon Woo, wakes up from a nightmare. He reaches for a water bottle on his nightstand and a hand pushes it towards him. Initially, Yoon Woo doesn't notice it and gulps down the water. But then, he looks to the side to see a girl sitting in a corner, staring right at him. Yoon Woo almost chokes on the water at the sight, but the girl remains seated with a blank expression on her face. On hearing the noise, Yoon Woo's sister, Min Ji, comes to the room with a baseball bat, but is too scared to attack the girl. She jumps on the bed with her brother, assuming that the stranger is a ghost. They only calm down when their father, Dr. Cha, enters the room. He explains that the girl is with him and gathers them all in the living room to talk. The strange girl walks around the room inspecting the curtains as the siblings watch her in confusion. Min Ji wants to know who the girl is, but Yoon Woo couldn't care less. His relationship with his father is not ideal. Dr. Cha is a scientist who always submerged himself in work and hardly paid attention to his kids. Hence, Yoon Woo resents him and his work. When Min Ji urges him to speak, the doctor reveals that the girl is an advanced android. He has conducted research on AI his entire life. He even created the narrator of Mystery Recapped, and this girl is the result of it. Before he can explain further, the girl picks up an entire table with only one hand to retrieve a ball from under it. Min Ji and Yoon Woo are left stunned, to say the least. Dr. Cha introduces the girl as the best known robot to mankind, AD number one. She throws a peace sign, presenting herself to them. AD number one has a complex system and is highly advanced. However, she is currently in her learning phase and has an intelligence level similar to a high school student. She is also in the last stage of self-examination. Hence, Dr. Cha wants his children to keep her with them for a few weeks to see how she adapts. Yoon Woo is absolutely against the idea, but Min Ji wants to help her father. She asks him to rest assured, promising to take care of the robot. After Dr. Cha leaves, she talks to the robot, who replies to all of her questions. Min Ji is amazed by the AI's intelligence. She names her Annie and officially welcomes her into the family. The following morning, Min Ji brings Annie to the high school where she teaches. She introduces her to the class as an American transfer student and her cousin. The youngsters are excited to have a foreigner among them. After school, Min Ji brings Annie to Yoon Woo's college and asks him to drive her home. She is going on a business trip for a day. Hence, Yoon Woo has to reluctantly help the robot. In only a day, Annie has grown attached to Min Ji. She asks her not to go on the trip, but Min Ji promises to bring her something pretty and walks away. Annie also notices that Yoon Woo doesn't want to take her home. To avoid bothering him, she sends him back to class, promising to get home safely. At night, Yoon Woo can barely fall asleep, disturbed by a strange feeling about his father. He calls Dr. Cha, who claims that he is just around the neighborhood and will come to see Annie soon. Right after the call, someone attacks Dr. Cha and takes his phone away. The following day at school, the class president, Ji Yoon, and her best friend, Tai Hee, make friends with Annie. Although Annie is usually quiet and non-responsive, they seem to enjoy her company. When she doesn't speak, she analyzes the girl's behavioral patterns and is fascinated by the way they giggle. Somewhere else, Yoon Woo is on a date with his girlfriend, Sul Gi. They're approached by Dr. Cha's colleague, Kevin. He is worried about the doctor because he hasn't been picking up his phone since last night. Kevin is also Min Ji's boyfriend and is quite close to Yoon Woo. Yoon Woo promises to tell him if he gets a hold of his father. Later that day, Min Ji finds Annie making faces in the mirror. She is curious about why people smile and what happiness is. The questions are too advanced for Min Ji to explain. She dismisses the conversation by saying that Annie will know when she feels it. Kind of a low blow thing to say to an android. When Yoon Woo returns home, Annie watches Min Ji drag him by his ear to the dinner table. She keeps the memory safe to use for later. Yoon Woo is annoyed that Annie is with them at the dinner table when she can't even eat. Min Ji, on the other hand, declares that she's a part of the family and deserves to be there. The comment makes Annie feel a warm emotion for the first time, but she doesn't yet recognize what the feeling is. In the following scene, Min Ji and Kevin meet at a cafe for a date. 
Kevin is still worried about Dr. Cha's sudden absence, but since Minji is used to it since childhood, she doesn't think much of it. When Kevin mentions an AI robot project, Minji brings him home to meet Annie. In the meantime, Annie is returning home from school when she comes across a man in all black clothing. He is the same guy who attacked Dr. Cha last night. Before he can get to her, Yoon Woo hides her behind a bush. After the stranger goes away, Annie claims that Dr. Cha said the man is not a good person, meaning he already knew someone was after them. Later, Annie meets Kevin and calls him by his name. It turns out that he was Dr. Cha's assistant during the last phase of developing the robot. He wants to take Annie to the lab, but she refuses to come, wanting to stay with Min Ji instead. The couple gets into a slight argument on who gets to keep the robot, before Min Ji asks Annie to go inside. At home, Annie watches BTS's performance on the TV, claiming that her friends talk about the boy band a lot. She also learns the dance choreography while she's at it. Minji supports her new hobby and encourages her to watch. The following day at school, a guy gives Annie a bunch of gifts and asks her out on a date. But the school bully, who has a crush on the same guy, threatens her to stay away. When her best friends take Annie's side, they try to hit the girls. Annie, with her iron hands, stops them easily. Minji sees them arguing and punishes them all. Ji Yoon, Tai Hee, and Annie are made to stand outside with their hands up until they turn sore. When no one is around, the girls decide to skip school for the day. Although skeptical, Annie joins them and has a blast. They go to an arcade where she wins every round in a claw machine, then to a karaoke place where she dances to the songs she learned from TV. A few hours later, they are walking through a park when Annie smiles for the first time. Thanks to her friends, she finally understands what happiness is. The next morning, Yoon Woo dreams of Annie running away from danger and wakes up to her right above him. She is there to call him outside for breakfast. When he refuses to eat, she grabs his ears, mimicking Min Ji and making him laugh. That day, he takes her to a cafe to meet his girlfriend, Sil Gi. As the couple flirts, Annie feels a pang of jealousy for the first time. In the heat of the moment, she calls Sil Gi ugly. In the following scene, Annie and Yoon Woo are at home. They awkwardly sit beside each other and talk about the events of the day. On being asked why she was rude to Sul Gi earlier, she claims that she feels weird around Yoon Woo. He dismisses it as a programming error, but silently admits to himself that he also feels different when he is with her. Whoa. Meanwhile, Kevin comes to pick up Min Ji, but she refuses to talk to him. She is disappointed that he looks at Annie as a thing when she resembles a human more than an object. Before Min Ji storms off, he reveals that today is Annie's first birthday. Min Ji immediately calls Yoon Woo and asks him to pick up Annie after school. She wants him to keep her busy until she can prepare a surprise birthday party for her. Yoon Woo does as told and brings Annie on a shopping spree. He buys her everything she wants, then brings her to a park. Upon returning home, she is surprised by Kevin, Tai Hee, Min Ji, and Ji Yoon with a birthday cake. She cuts the cake and is overjoyed that they care about her so much. The following day at school, Annie and her group are selected for a relay race at the sports meet next week. They practice all afternoon and teach Annie the rules. Annie mimics them and pretends to be tired to seem human. After that, she excuses herself to recharge privately in the classroom. Tai Hee walks into the room to see her plugged into the charger and freaks out. Fortunately, Min Ji arrives there on time and calms her down. At home, Annie questions Min Ji why she is different from her friends. She is confused about her existence, but Min Ji has no way to make her understand without making her feel like the odd one out. The next day, Annie refuses to come out of her room. Yoon Woo sits outside her door and assures her that her friends will accept her for who she is. He also confesses that he felt the same way as them when he first saw her, but has since changed his mind. Suddenly, Annie walks into the house, revealing that she was never in the room. Yoon Woo embarrassingly greets her and lets her in. Annie is confident enough to go to school the next day. She wants to talk to Tai Hee and solve the problem between them. However, in class, Tai Hee ignores her entirely. During recess, she approaches her again and apologizes for being a robot, but Tai Hee calls her scary, asking her to stay away. Annie is heartbroken by the rejection. She runs outside and doesn't return home, even when it gets dark. By the end of the day, Tai Hee is also told the truth. Yoon Woo then remembers the dream where he saw Annie running down a dark alley. The group immediately goes to look for her at a similar place. 
Tai He feels awful for being the reason why Annie is missing. Meanwhile, the stranger who had been following Annie finds her in an alleyway. Her battery runs out, making her fall unconscious and giving him the perfect opportunity to kidnap her. But he has to stop when the group arrives and threatens to call the police. The man runs away before being caught as the group tends to an unconscious Annie. The following day at school, Tai He still refuses to talk to Annie, but when she opens her locker, she finds it filled with her favorite drink and an apology note. That day, Yoon Woo goes out on a date with Sol Gi. She senses that he has been acting weird for the past few days. Having known him for five years, she understands his feelings and claims that they should remain just friends. To her, it's totally understandable that Yoon Woo wants to hit on a robot instead. After the encounter, Yoon Woo goes to pick up Annie from school and takes her to the park. He offers to carry her bag, even when she claims that it is very heavy. He insists, but can hardly lift it up from the ground on trying. As they talk, Annie bluntly confesses that she likes him and kisses him on the cheek. A flustered Yoon Woo reveals that he feels the same way. Later that day, Yoon Woo finds a laptop in the storeroom. On opening it, he finds out that it belongs to his father. He plays a video message from him where he reveals that Annie is a special robot who has the ability to feel real human emotion. He has embedded their mother's memories in her processor that subconsciously affects her thinking, which makes her feel even more human. Yoon Woo feels like he only liked Annie because she was mimicking his mother. When she arrives home, he accuses her of betraying him and asks her to go away. He doesn't want to have an AI to piss complex. Annie tells him that she is not his mother, but Yoon Woo refuses to listen. She runs away from the house and is yet again caught by the strange man. This time, he comes forward to fight, but is proven weak against Annie's superhuman strength. Just then, Yoon Woo also arrives at the scene to save her. As Annie sees him and smiles, the man shoots her. Cut to a month later, Annie had to be repaired and rebooted after the incident, which made her lose her memory. Yoon Woo and Min Ji are sad but understand that she is needed in the lab. After they leave, Kevin calls Annie by her scientific name, but she corrects him and claims that her name is Annie, revealing that her memory somehow remained after being rebooted. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like. Thank you for watching.